the Democratic Football Lads Alliance on the march. What do we want? Justice! Among them, in the centre here wearing a suit, is the UKIP leader, Gerard Batten. Sky News is the only broadcaster present, and we're not invited. No, no trouble. No trouble. Anyone goes to the class, it doesn't feel like no trouble. Ahead, a row of police are hoping to separate them from a group of anti-racism protesters. The Football Lads Alliance try to break through. They are supposedly here to peacefully demonstrate against the rape of women and children by Muslim gangs. But it doesn't turn out to be peaceful. The Football Lads Alliance was formed by a football hooligan to unite supporters from different clubs against Islam. Its Facebook page has been criticised for racist content and the group has since renamed itself the Democratic Football Lads Alliance. So who are these people? None of us are racist. I'm an EDL member. I'm a Tommy Robinson boy. I'm sick of the corrupt government telling us lies, blacking out. They're, they're, they're doing blackouts on news media. Look what's happening in Paris, France, Germany, all things Sweden. That, all things that look, were reported. Look, all things that no, were they weren't reported, reported on, the on correctly. They weren't reported on correctly. Are you from what? Sky News. Sky News. Sky News. Oh, yeah. the biggest liars out there. Yeah. So why don't you report accurate news? Why don't you report about all the rapes that are going on, all the Islamic mean? terrorism that's going on? You know full well what's well, going we, on. We have reported on terrorist attacks. And we have reported on what's what, been going on in so Telford. Why, why, why do you label people? Cities. How else would you know? Why do you label people? Like, like just why do you God, label people? Yeah. Yeah. Why, why, yeah. Yeah. why do you yeah. call us racist? We asked the counter-protesters why they think the group is racist. What's your problem with these guys? They're racist! Why? They say they're just protesting against rape. They do, yeah, but they need a moral cover, don't they? We stand with the victims could be any colour from any religion or um, any nationality. They're only interested in having a go at Muslims. That's a new form of racism. If we allow it to divide us, we're shot. So what is the leader of UKIP doing here? This is a Football Lads Alliance march. I mean, how do you feel associating UKIP's name with that? Uh, they've all, I've already given talks to their groups. Lots of them have joined us. They are democratic. Uh, as you can see, they're against extremism of any kind. Yeah. So I don't have a problem with there it. There have been issues around racist comments on their website, uh, calling for Sadiq Khan to be hanged, for example. We have a website, mate, on your Facebook we have page. So you, all you're going to do now is try to disparage what we're doing, no, no, put out some more I fake news. So I didn't agree not, to do an, not, an interview, so I'm news, here to I'm do... I'm just asking I mean, you. No, because what you'll do is what you always okay. do. You'll raise some issue that's not relevant. As this gentleman said, it's already told you they don't have a website. They do have a website. So, they have a Facebook well, page. That's how, we knew this, that's how we knew this was happening. You go off and you say whatever you want to no, say, no, just, and I'll do what, my stuff no, but here. Could you answer okay. that? You don't... It's fair I enough do to not ask, answer that question. Which you question? Have, which you, question? You, you presumably condemn things such as... Of course as I do. I've spent 25 years running, being a member of a moderate party and now running a moderate party, yeah. a democratic party. We've always said that, always done that. You cannot control individuals saying stupid things. They do it in all parties. Why, why so that's you, the end of the why, interview. No, no, Thank no, you. But why when, you, why when, you're, enough, why when enough, you've got the... Enough, I think we've got more to ask you. No, but he doesn't want to answer, does he? The former UKIP leader thinks this is an unnecessary distraction for the party. My concern with all of these groups is that that argument spills over into actually being an enemy 
of an entire religion, and that is not the place we need to be, uh, for, for every reason. It's the wrong thing to do, and it won't work anyway. Do you fear that that's what Gerald Batten is falling down that track? Well, I don't think he's there yet, but I think he's got to be careful what company he keeps. Back at the rally, Mr Batten had this to say about Muslim grooming gangs. So the age of consent in Islamic culture uh, is a lot more elastic than it would be in Western culture. People here insist that they're not fascist, they don't like to be called far right, but the overriding view is that Muslims are dangerous and that immigration is bad. And this does feel like a reincarnation of the EDL, but it's also got the leader of UKIP, Gerard Batten, on the stage. And what he's saying is pretty much indistinguishable from what you might hear from Tommy Robinson. Indeed, Gerard Batten wants the former EDL leader to join his party. Unfortunately, we were forcibly stopped from recording the whole of his speech. You've got it on the truth. Unedited truth. I've got you there, haven't I? I've got you! Unedited truth! I'm editing what he's saying. Unedited. Let me hear that. Yeah, because you're full of but this weekend at UKIP's party conference, delegates will decide whether to reverse rules to ban former members of far-right groups from joining UKIP. That would change the face of the party and give anti-Muslim sentiment a new home. Jason Farrell, Sky News.